Hello everyone, welcome to Mathematics Tutorial. So today we will discuss or we will continue our discussion. It's all about operations and functions. Last na tayo, we have quotient. So the formula in finding the quotient of the given functions or function is ito. Quantity of f over g times x equals f of x over g of x. So, tandaan ito. Ito yung formula. f of x over g of x in finding the quotient of the given function. So, proceed to number 1 or example number 1. We have f of x equals 3x minus 2 and g of x equals x squared plus 2x minus 3. So, find the quotient of the given function. So, let's proceed to formula. So, formula is, and then formula, so we have, ah, balik that, wait lang. Okay. Formula, we have, so formula that is, quantity of f over g times x equals f of x over g of x. Next, we will substitute the value of f of x that is 3x minus 2 over the value of j of x equals x squared plus 2x minus 3. Tingnan natin. When, to find the quotient of the given function, first you need to identify the numerator if it is factorable or yung denominator if it is factorable. So, tingnan natin yung numerator. It is factorable. 3x minus 2. So, hindi. So, just copy 3x minus 2 over. How about yung denominator? Factor, factorable ba ito? Okay, yes. So, we will find the factor of x squared plus 2x minus 3. So, ito yung ginagawa ko pag mag-factor ako nito. So, dito na tayo sa last term. Ito, negative 3. So, hanapin natin yung factor ng negative 3. So, what are the two numbers that if you multiply, the result is negative 3? So, that is negative 3 times 1. That is 1. Another one that is negative uh, positive 3 times negative 1. Okay, when you multiply. Next, tingnan natin. When you multiply the two numbers, dapat ang result is negative 3. So, we have negative 3 times 1. So, that is negative 3. Positive 3 times negative 1, that is also negative 3. But, tingnan natin yung second term. But, when you add the two numbers, dapat ang result is positive 2. Pag i-add natin daw ang dalawang number dito, dapat ang result is positive 2. So, pag i-add natin. So, negative 3 plus 1. So, that is negative 2. And this one, negative or positive 3 plus or minus 1. That is positive 2. So, ano yung factor natin? So, that is positive 3 and negative 1. So, that is x plus 3 times x minus 1. Okay, so that is x plus 3 over x or times x minus 1. So, that is our final answer. To find the quotient of the given function. Pag hindi na ma factor yung numerator and denominator so yung given that is the final answer next ito example number 2 we have okay ito tingnan natin so we have let f of x equals x squared minus 5 and g of x equals 5x plus 4 so, find f of x 
f over g times x and letter b f over g times 3 so sa letter a muna tayo so formula that is quantity of f over g times x equals f of x over g of x so just copy value ng numerator natin or f of x is x squared minus 5 over 5x plus 4 okay tingnan natin yung numerator mafactor ba natin? hindi ang denominator hindi rin so ito yung final answer natin final answer ito na yung final answer tandaan pag hindi mafactor yung numerator and denominator Yung given, that is your final answer. But you need to uh, simplify that into based on the given formula. So, x squared minus 5 over 5x plus 4. So, this is our final answer. How about sa letter B? So, formula f over g times x equals f of x over g of x. So, we have... Tandaan, yung value ng x is 3. So, x squared minus 5 over 5x plus 4. I-substitute lang natin. So, ito magiging 3 ito. So, f over g times 3. So, ang x magiging 3. So, that is 3 raised to 2 minus 5 over 5 times 3 plus 4. So, we have 3 raised to 2, that is 9, minus 5 over 15 plus 4. Next, 9 minus 5, that is 4, over 15 plus 4, that is 19. So, the quantity of f over g of 3, the answer is 4 over 19 value of x is 3 okay substitute lang natin so that is the quotient is 4 over 19 next or number 3 if f of x equals x squared minus 4x plus 4 and g of x equals x squared plus 2x minus 8 so find the quotient of the given function so formula we have uh, f or the quantity of f over g times x equals f of x over g of x. Then, substitute natin. So, ang value ng f of x is x squared minus 4x plus 4 over x squared plus 2x minus 8. So, tingnan natin yung numerator natin. Pwede pa i-factor and the denominator pwede rin. So, na yung factor ng x squared minus 4x plus 4? So, this one, 2x minus 4x plus 4. Tingnan natin yung last term. So, what are the two numbers that if you multiply the result is positive 4? And if you add the two numbers the result is negative 4. So, that is negative 2 and negative 2. Kasi if we multiply negative 2 times negative 2, the result is positive 4. Pag i-add natin ito, negative 2 plus negative 2, that is negative 4. So, ang factor nito is, since numerical coefficient nito is 1, so automatically x minus 2 and x minus 2 over how about the denominator so x squared plus 2x minus 8 tingnan natin dito what are the two numbers that if you multiply the result is negative 8 so that is negative 4 times 2 uh, positive 4 times negative 2 but if you add the two numbers, dapat ang result is positive 2. So, this one, pag i-add natin ito, that is negative 2. 
ito, pag i-add natin ito, that is positive 2. So, the two numbers are, okay, negative 2 and positive 4. So, that is x plus 4 and x minus 2. So, ano yung final answer natin? O, saan ma-eliminate yan? Ito, ma-eliminate ito and this one. Kasi the same sila, the same sign. So, ang remaining is, we have x minus 2 over x plus 4. So, ito na yung final answer natin. x minus 2 and or over x plus 4. So, that's all for today.